it's your girl Tay, and I'm back with another, I guess you could say it's an Instacart slash Uber Eats vlog. So I kind of got a couple of things that I wanted to talk to you guys about. So the first things first, you guys, I didn't get a chance to work very much last week. My daughter um, fell really, really ill, and on top of that, um, she has really bad asthma. And it's so bad to the point where I ended up having to take her to the hospital um, when, it, when she first, before she got diagnosed, I was taking her to the hospital, I want to say once, um, once a week, maybe once or twice a week because she didn't have any medication at home and all that other kind of stuff. So, you know, when her asthma flares up, it can flares up over anything. And I do mean anything. Sometimes it can flare up over me just simply giving her an ice cream cone. Her asthma is extremely sensitive. So um, it's been kind of hard for me to get out there and work and even last Last night just from her being in the house and not really doing much of anything she started to her asthma started to flare up so um, I didn't really get a chance to work as much as I want to but I wanted to do an earnings report anyway because I promised you guys that I would so for Uber Eats I only worked one day and that one day I believe I made $51 I don't remember how many trips it was um, or how much time I spent online but I'm definitely gonna put the screenshot up on um, uh, on the screen for you guys so that you can see for instacart um something strange happened so i was actually out working and i was doing an order and when i got to drop the order off um when i got to drop the order off at the customer's house they i don't know if they were slow i have no there was, it was just something weird going on um, about this particular person. First of all, it was a woman, and then there were two guys there. And the woman asked me to, um, if it were possible, she forgot some items. She wanted me to go back to the store and get some more things. And I said, no, you know, that's not how Instacart works. I don't know if this is her first time or her 20th time, but I said, no, that's not how Instacart work, you know? Um, and so she went on to say that she would pay me directly. And I said, no, you know, most people probably would have jumped at that deal, but no, I don't know this woman personally. I can't guarantee that anything that she's saying is true. And so therefore you guys know from a previous video, I'm not going to put myself um, on the line to make a quick buck. That's that's not what's getting ready to happen. So I graciously uh, declined her offer and kept it pushing about my business. I must say though, yesterday, today is Monday, happy Monday. Yesterday though, Sunday, um, on demand was popping. It was busy pretty much all day and I did see a $40, um, another $40, order pop across my screen I wasn't quick enough wasn't quick enough I didn't have them 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 good fingers to get it but I did see another $40 order uh, so it seems like it's starting to pick up again I knew that it was gonna start to pick up the closer and closer we are f the f we are officially fully back integrated into school the kids are completely in this week even the traffic has definitely changed so um, my experience is usually when there's less traffic sometimes you tend to get less orders when it comes to instacart but when there's more traffic people are in school because people when they get home from work they really don't want to be out there in the traffic when they just got home from work they'd rather send somebody else to do the shopping and sit in traffic for them so the orders start to pick up i don't know if this is going to be just every sunday and monday thing i am still waiting to hear back or receive an email from the in-store shopper because i'm really really leaning towards doing the in-store shopper um, option but and last but not least this is gonna be a quick video so last but not least you guys I received a comment that I wanted to respond to now I already responded to it um, and this has nothing to do with Instacart or Uber Eats I'm just putting it out there because I feel like I need to or just maybe because I want to so in a um, a video that I just put out yesterday, I decided to do a mukbang because um, for those of you guys who know, you know, when you're trying to grow your channel, you have to be consistent. And I've said from the beginning to you guys, I'm going to do mukbangs and I'm also going to do my Instacart Uber Eats, you know, videos or whatever. So I don't expect you guys who came here for Instacart and Uber Eats to be looking at my mukbang videos as completely an option. However, I appreciate it if you do because it does help me with my view time. Um, my watch time and all of that 
But the main thing is that you have to be consistent. That's what anything in life, you have to be consistent. You can't do it for one day and then stop for six months. So I realized that I didn't have any content for Uber Eats and Instacart and I wanted to get a video out there. So um, me and my fiance, we have been kind of saving up. Um, we decided to treat ourselves to some seafood, something that we really don't eat on a regular basis because it's kind of cost it's it's costly so whenever we get the opportunity to treat ourselves that's like with any relationship you don't go out every friday saturday and sunday with your husband or your wife but whenever you get the opportunity you guys may have a nice candlelight dinner whether you're going to a restaurant or whether you guys just go to the grocery store and get some groceries and come home so this was that for us um only I decided to sit down in front of the camera and enjoy mine, and he decided to go upstairs and watch the Avengers in game and enjoy his. <laughs> but either way, you know, we really love seafood, and, and so, you know, that's what that was. But I can't read the comment to you guys while I'm on the phone, so I'm kind of trying to remember off uh, memory. So anyways, this one, I don't know if this person is a subscriber or not, but let's just say this one person who decided to watch the video, I don't know why, but the one person decided to watch the video and decided to comment and say to me that um, it's a waste of time, that I'm wasting my money for weird people to watch me eat, pe weird people to get off on watching me eat just so I can get views. And then this person also went on to say that they cannot take me seriously about making money for my family when I'm wasting my time doing things like this. So let me just say this to this person. You don't have to watch my videos at all. Nobody does. I'm not holding a gun to your head. I'm not in control of your body and your fingers. Whatever possessed you to click on that video has nothing to do with me. And I'm not degrading myself or my family or my image by sitting down and eating some food on camera. I'm fully clothed. I'm speaking in a respectful, intellectual tone. And uh, yeah, I don't see how me sitting down and eating food is affecting my ability to go out there and make money for my family. Now, I had another person who told me a long time ago that both the good and the positive, you know, work in our favor as YouTubers because it shows YouTube that there's an interaction. Whether it's negative or positive, there's still an interaction. And they also mentioned there's always going to be trolls. And I know there's going to be trolls. There's always going to be trolls who... Uh, don't who aren't happy with themselves or who feel a certain way you know you can't put your judgment and your ideals and concepts on me and try to put me into this box me me saying you know what i want to do mukbangs does not make me less of a provider for my family my family eats very well every night my family has not known a day of struggle we have a four bedroom townhouse. We have a car, we have food, we have clothes. We have all of our necessities taken care of. So for me, it, and you know, and I said, you know, I'm not going to, I'm pretty sure I'll get better with this as time goes on because I'm still in the beginning stages of my channel. But for this person and you know who you are, if you should decide to click on this video and watch it all the way to the end to this point, I hope that you do stop watching this channel. I don't want you to come back. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be rude, but for me, it's just kind of like when you come in and you say stuff like, you can't take me seriously, what does me sitting down and eating have to do with me making money for my kids? That's like me saying, if you sit down at home without a camera and you have yourself a nice big steak, uh, I can't take you seriously. You talk about you getting ready to get up and go to work. One has nothing to do with the other at all nothing to do with the other and yeah the whole purpose of a youtube channel is to gain views even my instacart and uber eats videos are to gain views it's all to gain views 
Some people do it respectfully, some people don't. I don't have any specific concepts or ideals of what I think people shoulda, coulda, woulda be doing on their channel because it's not my business, it's not my concern. But I'm going to encourage you to focus more on yourself and whatever it is that you feel that you may be lacking in your own life so that you can stop wasting your time as you said I'm doing, trolling through other people's channels, telling them what they should and should not do. I am a grown woman and have been for some time and I'm going to continue to put on my channel what I want to put on my channel. So that's all I'm gonna say about that and everything else. Uh, I am not saying this to offend anybody. So I hope that nobody else is offended by what I'm saying. You know what I mean? But that just really kind of, I literally just read that right now as I was dropping my son off to school. You know, like I said, you don't have to watch the mukbangs. There are people who are here on my channel who do mukbangs and who are also here to watch my mukbangs. I'm a part of the mukbang community as well as my original content. So you don't have to watch the mukbangs. I said that from the beginning. I told you guys from the beginning, my, my channel is now going to include mukbangs but i'm not you, you don't have to watch you don't have to watch the instacart video so you know hopefully i don't lose anybody over this um except for you except for that one person um but other than that you guys i'm going to leave off and say remember to live love elevate and as always i will see you guys in the next oh I forgot to tell you guys in the beginning, so let me say it now. If you haven't already, make sure you smash the like button. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Plus, push the post notification bell button, so that way, anytime I upload a video, you shall be notified. Now, I'm going to tell you guys to remember to live, love, elevate, and of course, I'll see you guys definitely in the next video.